Hello everybody and welcome to this Breakwaters guide where I'm going to be showing you guys a really easy way to set up your very first mushroom coral farm for a uh, more reliable food source in the game. One of the things you're going to want to have for this is a Tiki Torch Crystal just like this one here. You can easily build them in the builder's bench. All you need to build them is you have to go over to the contraptions tab in the builder's bench and scroll all the way down. To the tiki torch crystal to unlock this one first you have to build at least one tiki torch and at least one firefly tiki torch and then the tiki torch crystal will be unlocked what you need for this is you need three branches you need seagrass you need yellow shards and you need one empty bottle after crafting the item you can just place it into the world and whenever you place it nearby water just like this crystal right here it will repel water nearby. So I have now two of those Tiki Torch crystals. I'm placing them close by water. So that I can walk on the seabed here. And that we can actually start building our little farm down here. Next up for a farm of course you're gonna need dirt fields. Dirt fields can be really easily built by going over to the building tab. And all the way down to farm dirt field. You need 5 clumps of dirt, 10 redstone and 4 pig poop. To create this item now that you have the dirt fields you can start placing them in your desired location and then you can start planting whatever you want to plant in there these mushroom corals will take damage if they are not underwater so be sure to remove those crystal torches after you're done building the dirt fields and there you have it now you can start growing your mushroom coral once it is fully grown, all you have to do is get yourself once more the crystal torch, place the crystal torch onto the dirt field, and you can just harvest it just be before it dies out, because as you can see, it will take damage once more. But be sure to harvest it before it hits zero on the health bar there. And of course, if you want to make sure that you always have enough water, like in my example, the water sometimes will go down all the way and might not reach the plants. What you can do in that case, you could just place a crystal torch here or maybe a stone wall to uh, wall it off. And the same thing over on the other side. And then you always have the water in here when you need it. And then after a long day of farming, you can go over to your cooking station, put them in there and have a nice well-deserved snack i want to thank you guys so much for watching it has been a pleasure if you want to see more guides then please feel free to hit that like button subscribe to the channel so that you will always be up to date to any new guides that i post on the channel let me know down below in the comment section which guides you would like to see next and i hope to see you all next time again